Now you can't go down there, because you are very privileged. You are about to become part of Peter Willie's fabulous semi-nude impressions. Yay! There you go, some of them are Handle that, eh? I work out every morning with a knife and fork to get a bottle like this one. I went to one of those self-development workshops and put on three stone. And I went, I went there, you know that massage place? You know that massage place? I said, I went in there and I said, Look, I want a full body massage. And the guy said, come on, I'm here by myself. <laughs> Listen, I'm the fat jokes. Okay. All right, see if guess who this is. Paul Mercurio, thank you. As my wife says, four Paul Mercurios stuck in a sack. I've got the body of a 14-year-old, don't you think? At home, under the shed. <laughs> now, the people from South Australia know what I mean. <laughs> oh, what? It's just, it's just a thing they do over there. <laughs> now, you're Nancy, you'd be glamorous. You'd be, you'd, you'll just regret asking that. Okay. Well, I forgot where I was. Oh, yeah, here's one for the lads. This is Pamela Anderson. Okay. <laughs> On the back end of a council worker. <laughs> but I might have fooled some of you because I was moving. <laughs> okay, Nancy, here's your big man. <laughs> hey, hang on. We've oh, done that before, haven't we? Are we going to go for a short break now? <laughs> there you go, Janet Jackson. <laughs> All right, Nancy, it's my turn. I guess that's a no. Big hand for Nancy, yay! <laughs> She's going to immediately wash her hands. She used to. <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. Do I get a gig at your radio station? Good, good face for radio, have not I? Right. Okay, where was I? Okay, this is my phone. Don't miss this, Nancy. This is, uh, this is Demi Moore. Demi Moore. Hey, you can't do that, you skinny hip Nancy boys, can you? There you go, Peter Willie's fabulous semi-nude impressions, yay! Uh, uh, while I was in Byron, I, uh, I went to one of those um, numerologists, because I was having trouble with my finances. And he said, Pete, it's your house number, it's unlucky. So I changed it from 26 to 44 and I don't get any bills anymore. <laughs> A little bit of a tip for you. I'm distracted casting for it. I went and went to one of those repressed therapy people. You know those, you know you did that repressed therapy thing? One minute I was a kid being brought up in Lane Cove in uh, the North Shore of Sydney and the next minute I was being chased by thousands of Cossacks across the tundra and I realised I was getting SPS. My flashbacks had subtitles. All right, you lucky people, you're about to be entertained by Peter Willie, the winner of the South Tamworth Bowling Club Talent Quest. <laughs> oh, you think I'm kidding, don't you? The guy who came second at the South Tamworth Bowling Club Talent Quest was a Hindu country music singer called uh, Ranjit, Roger Ranjit. Uh, you, probably, you probably know his stuff, you know, thank Krishna, I'm a country boy. And, uh, you picked a fine time to leave me, Viranishni, Sri Ramanamanamana. <laughs> Mothers don't let your sons grow up to be cows. <laughs> oh yeah, and a white sports coat and a pink reincarnation. <laughs> okay. And you see they had 6,000 line dancers down the main street of Tamworth? You see those people? It is, it is a long road. Peel Street, Tamworth. It's a great place, Tamworth. <laughs> Actually, the uh, Tamworth Bypass has been funded by the uh, Cultural Commission. <laughs> Think about it, people. Come on! <laughs> okay, there you go. So, Tamworth. 6,000 line dancers down the main street of Tamworth to rate the world line dancing record. I looked at those people, I thought, what a shame they banned automatic weapons. <laughs> I mean, one day a year you should be allowed to shoot them, shouldn't you? No, it's just like a public service kind of thing. You get a grant from the government or something. Boots good to shoot a day. You come round with your ute in the spotlight. Put a cassette in. If you break my heart, 
my icky bricky heart. They can't help themselves out, they can't. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I said, uh, what, what, uh, what, you know why God invented line dancing, don't you? It's to give Morris dancers someone to laugh at. <laughs> Again, not my joke, but well placed. Again, we're going to start now as a song. Come gather round and listen to this tale of misery. It happened long ago at some poor girl's kitchen tea. It should have been a party, but things turned sour instead. There were stains upon the carpet and over twenty dead. It started out okay, I guess, as the ladies gathered round. The bride-to-be was happy with her crinkly dressing gown. The handy bin from Grandma would be useful in her home. And Mrs. Duke had painted her a handmade garden home. Then Aunt Mel took exception to a comment from her niece. And she responded angrily and kicked her friend Bernice. Fight broke out around the room. A gift trap be true strainer, caught Kane above the eye. Red and yellow lunch boxes flew about the place, and someone rubbed a cheese grater down Mrs. Porter's face. <laughs> a see through freezer canister killed Mrs. Rostow dead. A sawn off sound crisper protruded from her head. PVC had seven limbs before the police arrived. The bodies were entombed. The forensic squad sought evidence and ordered them exhumed. All I laid dug up, Mrs. Henderson, and the mother of the bride. They were neatly stacked in Tupperware, fresh and crisp as the day they died. <laughs> went like this. Yeah. 